Hello, and welcome back to my Slay the Spire series. After about a two-week break, I think, something like that. Um, it's been a minute since I've played this game, but, uh, you know, we'll, we'll see what we can make happen. Apparently, I'm playing the Silent from what I saw, and it looks like the Silent is the same Ascension level as the Ironclad? And the defect is on Ascension 17? Oh my gosh. Alright. <laughs> you know, at one point in time, Ironclad was by far my worst character, and now it seems like it's coming up on uh, being my second best yet again. Which is how I originally thought when I first started playing this game. Anyways, let's get a random common relic. Okay. Is there any way that we can use this? No. <laughs> the answer is no. We cannot use the smiling mask for quite a while. Um, I do want to get at least one remove in, though, if possible, considering, you know. Um, let's try going something like this, maybe. Uh, okay. Not bad. Take four. Uh, so yeah, I haven't played in two weeks, and I haven't really thought about the game in two weeks either, but hopefully, you know, taking this long break away will allow me to have a different perspective of the game, you know, a better understanding, you could say. I don't know. The brain needs breaks in order to learn and improve, right? Um, but, I mean, we're almost there. Kind of. Like, I am, um, I've got everybody at Ascension 17 or above. So, once I get everybody to Ascension 20, that's when the real journey begins, right? Because then I have to actually beat the heart with all the characters. But once I do it with one of them, then I'd never have to play that character again in my life. Which, I guess, is kind of cool. I don't know. 17 damage is a lot of damage. I'm kind of getting destroyed. <laughs> like, my first pickup being Piercing Whale is not great. I'm thinking I may have already misplayed. And maybe I should have taken um, Sneaky Strike instead. But, I don't know. Oh my gosh, come on. Okay, there we go. You know what, screw it. Let's take a quick slash. Ooh, yeah, let's remove. Let's remove a card. Let's remove a defend. Right now, my biggest problem is that I'm lacking damage. The piercing Whale. Piercing Whale is cool, but it's not good in the single enemy fights that don't have like uh, multi attacks so that's why I played in the previous fight for no values because I'm like let me just get rid of it um nine damage next turn but I will have a neutralize most likely okay I think I'm gonna afford to play this even though I won't kill him this turn I will be able to defend and then get him low enough to kill him the next turn. Uh, sneaky strike, man. I mean, I only have one way to discard. So it's like, is it even good? I don't think so. All out attack could be okay. It's an AoE move, which I probably desperately need to have right now. Let's go to another question mark. I get bronze scales, which is really solid in my opinion. Uh, I am feeling like a neutralized upgrade could be really good. Since I got rid of one of my defense and now I have a lot of attacks, I kind of want to have more ways to play a defensive type of game. Um, all out attack looks really nice here.
Piercing Whale plus all-out attack was not bad. Crippling Cloud. Mm, Crippling Cloud could be good. Mass Weak and a Mass Poison. Mm, I'm not going to take it, though. I'm just going to, you know, I'm going to play it a little bit slower, maybe. Um, yeah, let's go ahead and upgrade all at attack. Has the most chance of being valuable. I think Quick Slash is the other one that I was thinking about upgrading. Art of War could get some value. I'm avoiding fighting Elites because I'm playing the Silent. Maybe I shouldn't have done that, though. Let's do this, 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 and this. Should have probably neutralized here, but I don't think I don't have Mandarin. Okay, cool. A this sneaky strike. Dang, I've gotten so many cards that like get buffed by discarding, but I only have two ways to discard, and one of them is random. Uh, this rate's really good though. I'll take it. I've got some discard synergies going on. So maybe it's fine. Let's go like that. I think that might be better. It's a guaranteed kill. Plus I'm pretty sure that I can just like 1v1 this guy. There, he's dead. Oh my god, Storm of Steel, Calculate a Gamble and Terror. I think Storm of Steel is not good in my deck right now because I don't have Reflex. If I had Reflex or ways to draw, it would be good. Like, draw off the discard. Uh, as cool as that is, I actually don't want it because I just want to be able to straight up remove a card with the Smiling Mask. Tactician is cool. I like that. Um, let's go ahead and remove a basic strike for now. I almost didn't buy this. I think I do want the tactician though. Remove another card? Sure. And now I'll upgrade the calculated gamble. Okay, this rate's my main damage source right now. I think I have to just play this. The problem is I don't know if I can kill next turn. How much is he gonna block for? It's like 14. But like what can I draw that would be good enough here? It's like nothing. Dang, this sucks. Um, because I also want Piercing Well next turn. So what are the odds that I draw something that I want? It's like a f less than 50% chance. Because I would want to draw the Strikes, All-Out Attack, or the Gamble. I'm pretty sure this guy's going to block more than I can deal. Oh, it's only 9. Never mind, I'm fine. Barely, but I'm fine. I might end up going plated armor this fight. Best. Screw it, I guess. Let's do it now. Get a little bit of extra damage in there while I can. Um. I guess I can go Piercing Well this turn. And then... Is the Art of War going to be useful next turn? It doesn't look like it. Well, actually it might... No, but I think the Neutralize will be better. 
It's just a little bit of extra damage. Cool. Okay. Thorns is huge here. The bronze scales is helping me out so much. It's crazy. Um, I think I'm actually down to calculate a gamble. It's a little bit unlucky, but it's fine. I wanted to draw the eviscerate, but it's not a big deal. I can actually play this because I have plated armor. So I don't take damage. Um, I don't take damage this turn either because of plated armor. Is it worth going for the Calcutta Gamble? I don't think so. I'll take the Art of War proc. Okay, this turn I am taking damage. <laughs> taking a lot of damage, actually. Is it worth playing the Power Potion? I think I'm gonna save the Power Potion because I think I'm fine this fight. I think I live this fight. Although, it's kind of close, honestly. Okay. 16. That's good. <laughs> I mean, I can... I can play it safe. What's playing it safe? Like, I need to kill him next turn, otherwise I die. Right? I'm gonna die to the times 20. But I think this is the safest option I've got. And then... Is it guaranteed? It's not guaranteed. Is it? No, it is guaranteed. Because of thorns. Nice. Okay. Oof, that was scary. <laughs> that was a little bit scary. Uh, burst doesn't look that good here. Not with what I've got right now. Malaise is never really bad. Like, burst could be cool, but I don't have any good skills right now. Let's take a malaise. Um, screw it, man. Calling bell. Give me something cool. Ice cream with malaise. And tactician? Okay. I'm interested. I definitely need to fight some elites, otherwise I will be weak. Let's do nothing. Okay. <laughs> Not the turn I was hoping for. 
Okay, I definitely need more discard effects because I have like none, which is very bad. And in fact, I might die to this guy. Am I crazy for thinking that? Okay. <laughs> that was not good. Not good at all. Um, I don't think I want any of these. Molten Egg is cool. I just need to actually get some attacks. Oh shoot, I'm not going to have enough gold to remove at the next shop. That's fine. Maybe? I feel like I want to remove another strike. Because I have Art of War. Okay, let's transform. Escape plan and Storm of Steel. Okay. I'm not mad about that. Okay, that guy will never do damage to me, this fight. I forgot about how good bronze scales is in this fight. Oh, never mind. He will do damage to me. Um, oh, this is interesting. already at 15 health. That's what I want to know. <laughs> like, am I actually just dying? Permanently? I thought I was going to destroy this fight, but uh, I'm very weak as it turns out. I don't have any discard enablers. Oh, there we go. There's something. Is it even worth it to go to the shop? No, but I do need to heal. So let's just go here and hang out. And I think let's rest. <laughs> uh, I would have loved to upgrade the prepared there, but it feels too risky to me. I might take this elite. The problem is that if I go up against slavers, I die instantly, I think. But I don't really have any ways around that, so. Uh, a reflex would go a long way. Would go a long way. Alright. One and four? Haha. <laughs> One in four failed. <laughs> the malaise would have saved me a lot of health there, I'll tell you that much. Twenty-one damage. Alright, well malaise is gonna be for eight. So that's good. Ice cream plus malaise is definitely hardcore. It is rough, though, to get up to that amount. Another all-out attack or dagger throw. I think dagger throw is going to be better here. The extra draw power. Um, What are the act two elites? It's gremlin mob, slavers, and then the hand. The hand I can maybe do something against. Gremlin mob, maybe. Slavers, I don't know. 
Ah, screw it. I'm gonna have to fight some elites eventually, right? Right? Okay. Whoa. <laughs> okay, this is a crazy looking... Should have probably played that first. Okay. Sweet. Take that. Oh, I have Art of War too. That's really nice. Oh, Malays. Masterful. Okay. All out attack looks pretty good against that guy. This rate looks good against him as well. Okay, cool. Cool, cool, cool. Um, let's do a survivor into sneaky strike. Storm of Steel, sure. Maybe I shouldn't have played Storm of Steel, I should have saved the mana. Or energy, rather. I know I'm playing this way too late, but I don't know. <laughs> I might die here. I'm gonna be at five health. <laughs> um, so how much damage do I have? 12 plus 21 is 33. Plus 14 is 47. Plus six is 53. getting buff next turn. Okay. Everybody's getting shielded next turn. <laughs> Insane. Okay. Perfect. Perfect, perfect, perfect. That was the ideal scenario. Alive, barely. Unload. Okay. And now I can skip this by going to the question mark. Uh, is this even worth it? It's three upgrades. Screw it. Let's just remove. I don't even know what I'm supposed to remove here. Like, it feels like my damage is actually kind of bad. But, whatever. I'll remove the last strike. It's fine. I'm sure it'll be fine. I'm gonna rest. Some no health. <laughs> uh, the horn cleat was really good pickup, I will admit. But I don't know if it'll be enough to save this. Monstrosity. Last knife, all out attack. I guess I can do an all out attack. Huh. Okay. <laughs> that was the one I didn't want to discard, so I could have played it. It's fine. Um, that's a solid hand, though. We can do 18 and then there, so let's do a dagger throw here. Okay. Unload is a lot of damage. Just saying. Uh, tank 9. Or I can calculate a gamble and hope to draw something. I'm not going to draw something though. Whatever. I drew something. Ooh. 
Okay. Well, I took less damage this way, so I'll take it. Okay, not bad. Not a bad fight. I actually, I thought I was going to die there, but it was ended up being, um, okay. Blade Dance? I actually think Blade Dance is not even that good in my deck. It's a good card, don't get me wrong, but I don't think I need it. Prepared. Okay, a massive malaise would be huge. The thing is... With unload, I can make this eviscerate free. How much damage is this going to do? These are going to do like three, so that'll be nine. I think I have to just use everything on this guy. Okay. Okay, get my malaise up. Get my malaise up. can go for 12 damage. Yeah, sure. 12 damage in exchange for a, th a thing. It's, I think it's okay. There we go. Uh, I won't draw a skill, so let's not play that. I'll just take four. Malaise. No malaise. That's fine. Okay, I'm taking a lot of damage. <laughs> no malaise. Well, you know what? I didn't even realize I was weakened, so that was almost really bad. Uh, Sneaky Strike Plus? Yeah, sure. Sneaky Strike with Setup is kind of interesting. I didn't even realize that was uh, a thing. Oh shoot, malaise. Malaise could be good. Minus three strength is not the worst. But I could just do a lot of damage instead. Wow. <laughs> like, I don't even... I don't even know what to say to that. That's just crazy. Okay. Wow. Nice. Huge. Another prepared. Or a terror. Let's go terror. I hate having to rest over and over and over, but honestly, most of the cards that I've taken have been upgraded with Molten Egg, so it doesn't feel as bad to keep resting. It's going to be a tough fight, though. Let's definitely drink this at the start. You know what, 1,000 cuts, I'll take it. This is the AoE. I definitely want to play Terror here. Let's do All Out Attack into Storm of Steel. Okay. Not the best first turn, but not the worst. Um... Okay. I feel like I probably should be trying to kill these guys, so let's go ahead and do that. Let's go ahead and weaken him for next turn, actually. I can at the very least kill the guy on the right. Almost guaranteed, right? Just by playing cards. Piercing Whale looks good. I can play all of these this turn. I can't kill you with just unload, so I think I have to eviscerate you. Unfortunately. Oh. <laughs> For some reason I was thinking I was going to be able to play all of those, but obviously not. Um, so that's my bad. Uh, malaise is not even that useful. Let's do all out attack, sneaky strike. And since I have it, I might as well use it. Do 
24. Okay. <laughs> Let's try and live that. <laughs> okay, I lived it. Barely. Now I have to kill you. I don't think this is happening, guys. I'm not gonna lie. Ah, uh, dang. Yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. It's not quite enough to get her done. Um, you know what? I made it to the Act 2 boss. So that counts for something. <laughs> As for something, I think. Um, you know, I'm going to go ahead and call it here. Not a great first run, but not as bad as it could have been. Uh, there were several times that I almost died, but I didn't. Until the end, where I did die. Um, but, you know, that's cool. I'm still getting back into the swing of things. Plus, Silent has not been good for me at all ever since getting to Ascension 18. It's been very, very poor. I think maybe I was carried by a few too many Shiv runs to be honest, but, um, hey, Ironclad is on a come up, Ironclad's on a come up, and hopefully Defect will join them, I mean, being stuck on Ascension 17, come on, come on, Ascension 17, really? Anyways, um, I've rambled on for long enough, so thank you all for watching, hope you enjoyed, hope you enjoyed your vacation, if you took one, I enjoyed mine, it was nice to just relax and take a break from work and all that stuff. But uh, I'm back and I'm ready to win some Slay the Spire runs. So uh, all that being said, it's going to be it for me for today's video. Thanks for watching. I know I said that already. Hope you have a good rest of your day or rest of your night, whenever, wherever you are in the world while watching this. And I hope to see you all next time in my next video, two days from now, where I'll be playing at the Defect, trying to get my first win in what feels like quite a while. So we'll see if this break has helped the defect more than it helps the silent. Helps you all there. I'm out of here. Peace.